My wife has been cheating on me with AP after dropping our daughter off at school. Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, we've got a story from our slash surviving infidelity where Op's wife of 10 years has been cheating on him with another guy after dropping their daughter off at school. Before we start, if you have any personal stories of how you got out of a toxic relationship with your cheating wife or girlfriend, that you want to share, feel free to email them to me. Let's get started. Original story. I am devastated. I've been with my wife now for 10 years. Married for 3. We have an amazing 8-year-old girl and just had another baby. On my way home from picking up my daughter from a friend's pool party. My wife accidentally sent me a screenshot of her FaceTime with another man. I instantly recognized him. When I got home I confronted her. She explained it was an Instagram pocket dial and she instantly hung up out of embarrassment and took a screenshot in the process. This was all a lie. I debunked this. After questioning her, come to find out she was FaceTiming this guy and fucked up by sending me that picture entirely. She's been talking with this guy, who is also married, for around 11 months. So I contacted his wife, and let her know my wife and her husband have been hiding their conversations from us. After talking more with his wife, she discovered he was getting a hotel room down the street from our house all the time. She pulled this info up on their Marriott Points account. I called him and got him to come clean. He has been fucking my wife for months at a hotel during the day. My wife would drop off my daughter at school, go meet with him. Then come home and act as nothing happened. I've since confronted her and she's trying to get me to stay. The worst part is. Our newborn baby may not be mine. They have been having sex throughout her entire pregnancy. I got a paternity test today. And should know by Friday the outcome. I don't want to divorce my wife. But she has broken my heart and ruined this family. My oldest daughter has no idea, and I don't plan on telling her so they can keep a healthy relationship. My wife has never cheated before. I treat her like a queen, we are happy and love our relationship. Or so I thought. If she had never sent me that screenshot by mistake, I'd have never known. The worst part is I have no idea why she would ruin our family and marriage. I give her my all, I work my ass off for her and the girls. I'm broken. Edit, baby is mine. Now let's look at some comments. Cheesewindo wrote. Sorry, you are here. So she never admitted what she did, she was found out accidentally and she'd be still banging him if it wasn't for your discovery. She's not your wife anymore. You need to plan to divorce, if you go through with it or not is a different story but you need to plan it. T underscore Smith 2020 wrote. The person you loved, cared about, and trusted is now dead to you. Your relationship as you knew it is also dead to you. Everything you loved and cared about has changed, and not for the better. She willingly broke your family, she willing broke your heart, she willing broke your trust, she willing broke you. If you still want her around, she's got a lot of work to do to fix everything she willing broke, including you. Someone who inflicts pain from infidelity will never understand the pain. When I learned of my so's infidelity the pain was crushing. I have never felt such severe pain. She was like, get over it already, one week after I found them together. She continued to trickle truth me, lie and never really admitted the truth. It seemed like every week I learned more and the pain level ramped back up to unbearable. Finally, I got really angry. I hired a polygrapher to test her and I was shocked at her truth we only held hands and talked, sometimes kissed but no sex. Polygraph truth, 5 plus guys, intercourse, oral and anal with all numerous times with each AP, even in my house and my bed. When confronted with the test results she didn't deny anything. She went to a lot of trouble to have her affair. Just for a little insight into what she probably did for her affair. She did so much for his relationship without thinking about you, your family, or the pain she would inflict when caught. She did all this with extreme forethought and planning. She groomed her AP. She set up a time and date to meet. She acquired the place for her and her AP to meet and fuck behind your back. She planned what to say to you if you asked about her day. She planned what lies she was going to tell you if you became suspicious. She planned what lies to say to you to trickle truth you to limit collateral damage to herself and her AP. When finally confronted with irrefutable evidence she probably gave you limited information about her affair forcing you to relive the pain of D-Day over and over again with each new D-Day. She did this every time she wanted to see and fuck her affair partner. Can you imagine what your relationship would be like if she put in that much time, planning, and dedication to you and your relationship as she did to willingly destroy your relationship? Willingly betray you, willingly lie to you, willingly destroy your trust in her and every other woman you might encounter. I'll just leave you with this. She placed you in this extremely uncomfortable and dangerous, STD, situation. 
She broke your trust, she broke your family, she broke you without even a second thought. You need to take care of yourself, physically, financially, and legally. You used to be able to depend on her but no more. Speak to an attorney pronto, you wouldn't want to suffer because you did something you didn't know you couldn't do. Get STD tests, stay tough and keep your guard up, don't let her convince you to do something, anything until you are 100% sure that's what you want to do. You have a long road to travel but don't make any big changes now because you don't know what road you're now going to take divorce, separation, or reconciliation. People are here on Reddit to ask for help or questions. I'm sorry you've been forced into our group. We care and we are here for you. D Reddit Avenger wrote. You're on the right track, people who can live a double life from their family for months are very broken and not safe. Your wife's cheating is not your fault and has nothing to do with your actions. It's a product of her low morals. You will never truly recover if you try to stay with her. Besides you can do better. You are also right to get the DNA tests. The only thing you can be certain of is that cheaters lie and they are good at it. Besides that, you have no idea. I understand protecting your daughter but I wouldn't lie to her. If she is too young now I would tell her in an age-appropriate way. This is much better than having your daughter down, and maybe worse blame her father. The lesson will either be, her dad decided to leave for no reason, or her mom hurt her dad and he stood up for himself. I say the second is a much better life lesson. That is still her mom and they will have their relationship, but that is going to be on your ex anyway. Do not take responsibility for your marriage breaking up, that is your ex's doing. There is absolutely nothing honorable and noble about silently taking the blame with anyone, quite the opposite. I know it doesn't feel like it but it will get better, and the stronger you stand up for yourself the quicker that will happen. Kranich wrote. Are you sure that your wife has never cheated before or has she simply not fucked up by sending you screenshots that she never wanted you to see? Let me ask you this directly, why do you want to stay with her? Your wife already left you when she decided to start and continue her affair. Your daughter, you, and your marriage were on her mind all the time. She knew that she might lose you and hurt your daughter but those things were not enough for her to not start the affair. The affair and her affair partner were more important to her. She gave up on you. She also never wanted to end this affair, they probably already planned a whole web of lies to celebrate their first affair anniversary together. She only ended it because you caught her. Right now she is mourning the loss of her affair that she wanted so much and the loss of her lover. So, why do you want to stay with her? Because you love her? Well, she doesn't love you. Because of your daughter? Your wife didn't care about your daughter. Give yourself the chance to walk away from her. Start the divorce proceedings and separate from her physically. Only when you walk away from her, you give yourself a chance to look for reasons to stay. Only when you walk away from her, she can decide to either fight for you or to let you go. She isn't right now with you because she wants to, she never wanted to save this marriage, already ended it when she started her affair. She now only wants to stay because her affair partner is no longer available and she is afraid of being alone, afraid to face the consequences of the decision she made and stuck to for at least 11 months. I am so sorry that you are in this position. I hope that she at least got tested for STDs and showed you the test results to show you, that she at least cared about your health. Think further, she didn't care if the baby she carries is yours or not. She gladly wanted you to raise a baby that might not be yours. That decision alone is enough to show how little she cares about you, how much she wants to hurt you. Take it a step further, do you know why she never would have told you the truth about the baby? Because she needed you to look after the baby while she walks out to meet with her lover. You were nothing more but a potential babysitter for their kid. So once again and be honest with yourself. Do you want to stay with her because you want to or because you feel that you have no other choice because you can't imagine a life where she isn't a part of your family? Please don't be alone now. Tell friends and family about what she did and ask them for support. Stay away from alcohol and drugs, they won't help you now. Instead, meet with a doctor to get tested and meet with a lawyer to find out what a divorce would look like for you. You are worth so much more than to be treated this way. Admirable at 801 wrote. Good on you for giving him some. But please restrain from here. You have divorce and other hearings to attend. Drop the booze. Get in the gym or start jogging. A cheap heavy bag with gloves gets all the funk out. Test both your kids for DNA. I have a feeling your newborn is going to be a problem. Your 8-year-old should also be tested. If you got some savings it's time for a vacation. Take a road trip. Somewhere quiet. Switch or block your soon-to-be ex-wife. As your father-in-law to take her phone or something. Let him act as an intermediary between you two. This will clear up the static. She probably going insane with the DNA test looming. 
Check in with the other abused spouse. She is also a victim. Your DNA test can also rock her household. Your wife seems to be out of the fog. I suspect the DNA tests brought her out. Check if paternity fraud is a crime in your area. More and more states and countries are starting to place it on the books. Make sure with a lawyer's assistance you know how to act when paternity shows he is the dad. Get your name on the birth certificate. You are in for the rough ride. Remember a divorce with no contest costs less. Keep your cool but fight for your rights. She got some while the going was good. I hope you get some now. Remember your daughter. In time this will come out and your wife will face her. But for now, just make sure she knows she loved. Watch out for love bombing. Your wife going to try any trick to garner your sympathy. This may even include self-harm or deletion. She is with her parents. Your duty is to the kids. If yours. Try to get some quiet time. This is a red-hot stake through your heart. But a lot of us came through this. You will too. At least you got to sock it to the scumbag. Indian Hillbilly 786 wrote. A part of you will break but you're not broken, your wife is. And you will heal with diligence, time, and patience, as fatiguing and exhausting as that must sound at the moment. For now, you're in triage mode beneath what feels like an avalanche for most of us. Tend to your wounds, but do not avoid or bury the truths of the matter. In the long run, that will save both you and your children. Stay strong, friend. Before we take a look at another story from our slash surviving infidelity where Op tells a story of his friend who gave a gut-wrenching analogy to his cheating ex-wife which made her sign the papers, take a moment to like the video to show your support to the channel. Don't forget to leave your own opinion on the story in the comments down below. Second story. I want to tell you a story about a friend of mine. He is a former Redditor who was active in this sub for quite a while. He and I each other regularly and became friends. He never really told his story in full, just snippets to illustrate his questions and need for support at various times. He has since deleted his account and is concentrating on rebuilding his life. As friends, we talk regularly, and he recently told me one aspect of his story that I had never heard him say before. I thought it was interesting and encouraged him to let this sub benefit from what he had to say. He declined but permitted me to talk about this one specific thing on his behalf. So here goes. His wife cheated and after a six-week affair got found out by her husband. She initially denied everything but after being presented with the evidence she admitted the truth. She insisted that she was remorseful and would do anything to fix the marriage and begged for another chance. They separated but my friend was bombarded by calls, texts, and emails every day, all of which were expressions of remorse and pleading for another chance. Ideally, he would have gone no contact, but there were reasons why he didn't. Eventually, he decided that he wanted a divorce and told his estranged wife to come to the house to talk. She arrived and he gently told her that there was no going back for him. It was over. She was distraught, crying, screaming, begging, etc. She refused to accept it was over, and just couldn't understand how he could reach this decision. She asserted that it was all fixable, even if it's hard, she contested that they were strong enough to do it. He eventually, after several hours, calmed her down enough to say the following, and the reason for this post. Imagine that you knowingly and deliberately cut my leg off. I now have to live my life with one leg. As I heal I have to feel the phantom pain daily in a leg that has gone. Even when that phase passes it's going to itch from time to time, and I'll reach down to scratch it and it won't be there, and I'll remember every time what happened and feel that pain all over again. Now imagine that the person that did this horrible thing says, we can fix it, we can get you a prosthetic leg, I'll help you, you will walk again. He went on to tell her, I'll always walk with a limp, and I'll always be wondering when I'm going to lose the other one. He said that when he told her that she just looked stunned for what seemed like several minutes like she was processing for the first time what she had done. She quietly rose and grabbed her things and left with silent tears running down her face. No words just left. She signed the papers the next day. What do you think about all of this? Should the op from the first story divorce his wife or is there room for reconciliation? Also, do you think the friend from the second story is going to be okay after the divorce? Let us know in the comments down below. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Hit the notification bell to make sure you never miss an upload.